Hi there, I wanted to make an RBIM addressing video. You know, RBIM, uh, Realization Behavior Integration Model. And some people sometimes have trouble with tracking the, the RBIM system reference. And one way to do that, which is using special or spatial information, that means that you can ask yourself and divide your body in different references so that, that uh, if you split the body in half, don't do this, uh, this is just imaginary, that you have a right side and you have a left side of that, right? then you have a front and then you have a back and then you have height and different right. So if you ask yourself a question, uh, because if you do this kind of, you know, front, back, right side, left side, different height, you can uh, divide different level of uh, reference here for your attention. And uh, the urban system reference, you can, you know, sort of track it. So if you ask yourself a question like, you know, I really would like to have this kind of experience in the moment. And where you put it in a contextual way, we like I have a perfect day. So when you ask the question, you go like, okay, is the answer to that question, is it in the back of me or in front of me, or is it to the right or the left of me, and what height is? So you will start to identify if it's on the left side or on the right side, uh, above or below or to the side or somewhere or behind or even that, or even inside your body, but, which is everything is inside the body because you're just thinking about it. But the brain also put, uh, you know, in a way of organizing information in, in our consciousness, we need to have some kind of reference inside our head so we can, you know, do things. And that's one way to do it. So when you ask the question, uh, what kind of experience, you know, this kind of experience I want to have when I have a perfect day, for example, then you can go like, okay, is that response into the left or into the right, or is it inside the body? Is it up or down? Or not? So you can start tracking that kind of error band system reference point. And once you tracked it down, do that, and you probably have to repeat this a few times, you will become uh, sensitized and more aware of this kind of, you know, sensation. Um, and uh, that's where you have your attention point, uh, where the RBM system reference point is. That's one way of doing it. So instead, because if you're if asking someone to, you know, what, uh, what kind of experience they really want to have, you know, they could have maybe come, come up with an answer to define that. But the trouble about it is, like everything else, that if you don't have a reference and feedback on that reference, it can be really hard to pinpoint it down. But if you ask questions like, is it to the right or to the left, is it higher or is it lower? And soon enough, that kind of reference, that kind of questioning people can do because it allows them feedback. And if you're totally new to this, well, then you'll have problem. I don't know, that's why we do all the, you know, hand drills, we interflow, stuff like that. You know, that's one of the reasons we do interflow. Just because we don't need to, you know, have the body moving, increasing our mobility, but also become aware of what our body is moving, so we can start sensitize yourself to that kind of movement all the time. Native flow is good for you, you know, overall. So that's one way of doing it. Asking the question uh, for the experience you want to have and then sort to of track that kind of answer you will have as an RBM system uh, reference to your right, to the left, up and down and all that. And you can start to identify the depth and height and all that stuff and, you know, put your mind to it. Attention, you know and that will make it easy to do it. So that's the key, you know, easier. And I um, have a question, well, yeah. ask on the website. Over and out, from the Northern Guy.